Hey everybody, welcome aboard, this is V. I wanted to do a little bit of cave spelunking today, and I thought I'd bring you along with me. I did notice that it was kind of a consolidated look or a consolidated color look to the hand mineable nodes the last time I was in the cave. And so I thought that I would just kind of sneak back over here and do just a touch of hand mining. Now, I thought we would just go through very quickly the essentials that I like to bring. Um, notice that I'm in a Pembroke suit. The Pembroke suit, uh, one of the most important uh, advantages to it, and that's, uh, sorry here, is, is this, it's back here, it's this backpack. The backpack is gonna be kind of where it's at. That's the 120, uh, you know, thousand USCU backpack. That's the reason I'm in the Pembroke suit is because it has the heaviest backpack available. Notice that, you know, of course, you have the Pembroke exploration suit uh, and the Pembroke helmet. The total amount of stuff that I have on me is around 20,000. Uh, notice that I do have with me a pyro multi-tool, an orbit mining attachment. I do have a para med medical device. There is a handgun back here. I have some, some quick flares as well. And I do have some extra magazines. Uh, and I do have in my leg armor a little bit of extra stuff too. I have a, a Crux, uh, uh, you know, cruise locks, part of me, the Crux, and um, a couple of other items just are some extras just in case I need them. So where we are at is I like to cave Splunk on Daymar. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Oh, my stars in heaven. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Um, you know, kind of write ourselves. Now, one of the things I wanted to do, you can see we're kind of hanging out right here on Daymar. Uh, I thought I would just show you quickly here. We we accepted a mission, right, on Daymar. Let's talk about that. It's it's important that when you when you come to Daymar, the mission that you want to accept uh, for these caves is ones that can only be accessed on foot. That would be my recommendation for hand mining because, you know, it's designed for just a, a person to walk through there. Um, and uh, and the, clo the, the clusters are closer together. The nodes are kind of, you know, easier to access. But one thing I wanted to show you is, is you can see I'm about 8,077 from the cave. When you approach these caves, the, you will lose the icon at about four or 5,000. And so you really do need to kind of pay attention on the map exactly where it's saying the cave is at. Now I can see right down there, that's where it's at which is cool, but let's go ahead and approach it. And then you'll see what I mean. You, you, you don't want to just fly right to the beacon. You definitely want to take note of kind of the landscape. Now, if it's at night, you can use ping, but you want to kind of take note of the landscape because as, as you see, as I approach here, um, and you'll see it, uh, you know, I'm within 5,000 now, 4,000. Uh, 4,500. At some point in here, this pip I will lose. And so it can be, sometimes, you know, it can be a little, see, you can see I've lost it. It's, it can be a little frustrating, right? Uh, if you're not careful. So because I've actually made a really good mental note on where this, um, on where this cave, you know, entrance is, we should be fine. So we're kind of approaching here. We're looking. And then, you know, we really kind of, Sometimes it's good to take kind of a physical look if you can, but in this particular case, I think we're going to find it's right here. And it's a little, you know, a little bit, a little sandy outside. A little bit of a windstorm, but yeah, that's starting to look like the cave entrance, I believe. But let's go ahead and, and uh, let's take a, see if we can take a closer look. Difficult to say just because of the of the weather. And bring her in slowly here. And hit the ground and good. It's important to turn off the engines. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then we will back our way out and head into the cave now. So yeah, I just uh it's one of those things where um, I just thought it would be a good idea to kind of just revisit this a little bit. Out we go. Never a bad idea. Make sure you do close your door, button it up again. Now you can always turn the ship off entirely. There's nothing wrong with that either. But you know, then what we want to do is just kind of approach the cave entrance as best as we can. And yeah, you can see here we kind of 
are working our way down here. This is very, very, very interesting. And here we go. Uh, we're working our way down into the cave now. Right off the bat, you can see we're already in good shape, right? Just coming down. We're not even out of the elements yet. And we've got an opportunity here. So let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and get started. This is already had a night. So this is what we're looking for. You want to go ahead. Now, what I did is I pulled out my pyro multi-tool with the mining attachment. And now I'm scanning the rock. And now that I have the scan done, you can see that I have, uh, you know, here on the left-hand part of the UI, I have this area here. So as I turn on the laser and then I begin mouse wheeling up, that's how I adjust the power. Uh, you can see I'm at 100%. Um, you can see if I mouse wheel up and down, the percent will move up and down. On the, on the mining laser itself, you notice there is the orange bars. And that's power, and I'm at 100 and as it gets, as it slides over the uh, green, I'm gonna drop it down to about 70 and just kind of see where it's still going up. So maybe keep dropping it. But this is where you kind of feather the mouse wheel back and forth or whatever um, you have designated as your, you know, as the thing that controls that, um, the power, but it's default is the mouse wheel. And I'm just trying to keep between the lines here until that guy pops. And once it does, I'm going to go ahead and hit R, hold R. Uh, I do like to kneel down, and then I'm just going to go ahead and start storing these guys. One thing I will say is they do slide around a little bit. There we go. See, uh, there's one right there. Let's go ahead. We'll store this guy. There's a piece of hat. Knife. Good. You know, um, it just it may have just slid because of the, um, you know, be, they do slide down the cave. Like if there's, they'll, they'll head towards the lowest part of the cave. These guys look like they've broken away that they're not going to give me the option to grab them. And that's okay. We really had just come into the cave. You can see right here, this is going to be an aphorite. Uh, you know, I'll go ahead and show you what I mean. You can see right down there, you know, right at the bottom um, right, you can see that this is aphorite. So we're going to leave that alone. I'm going to go ahead and hit T. T is going to Go ahead and turn on my um, my helmet um, light, and we're going to continue to head into the cave here. So, you know, you can see right off the bat, we've we've already found some hadonite, um, and it looks like we're going to find some more here as well. So, this is good. Um, let's go ahead and uh, and we'll mine this this one next. And and so I'm scanning the rock. It creates the UI, you know. Um, and then I go ahead and I fire up the laser, then I mouse wheel up. And you know, I take it right to 100. Um, and then when, like I said, as it slides over the green on the left-hand side, you can see the line going up. As it slides over the green line, I will roll it back to around 70 uh, or 65 or so and just see do I need to add power or take power away to keep it in between the green line and the line above it? Above that line, above the green line, is overcharged, which can cause an explosion. It actually can kill your character. So you don't want to do that. So as we're going across, you can see I'm reducing. Uh, you know, now I've reduced, a, a you know, before I got to the line, and notice it's, it's being a little temperamental. So I'll just mouse wheel up a little bit. Now I'm in the green. And it seems to be holding around 70 just fine. You can see that it's building It's building through the green. Now, as it's, it's, as it's racing up, I went ahead and turned down. And uh, this is just a, a question of kind of mouse, feathering the mouse, you know. Uh, you know, you can see I fell out a little bit. So uh, now we're, it's starting to climb back in. But it's better to flirt with that green line than, say, the overcharge. You know, it's one of those things. So... Here we go, bing, we just, you know, another uh, good uh, explosion. Like I said, I actually like to kneel, uh, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and just start, start hitting store on these guys left and right. Now, these are 200 a unit, so this is not a bad haul. This is over a thousand uh, AUEC uh, in this, um, you know, in this uh, uh, particular node here. So, a couple of things I don't want, you want, you want to, be careful about clipping through the sides of the walls. That's always can be a little sketchy, um, you know. But of course, you you know, there's an awful lot of hadnite down there, and you want to make sure you get it all as well. So, 
Uh, in this particular case, I may turn off the light for a second just so I can not have those reflections on the... Um, and, and we're still, you know, we haven't even really gotten into the dark part of the cave yet. So, you know, we've, we've gotten two Hananite clusters and we're not even, uh, we're not even in, um, <laughs> we're not even in the cave really. So we'll go ahead and store this last guy. All right. So there we are. We're already not doing too bad. Now you can see right there's another one. Um, if I go ahead and, uh. Pull the laser out. More Hadonite is, is available there. So let's go ahead and kind of get ourselves in a spot where we can actually get ourselves a little more Hadonite. So let's talk about um, one time at least. Uh, I'll put this tool away. If you notice, we've got the... Um, we can activate these. And look at that. That actually makes gives us a little more... Uh, a little brighter. Yeah, you can see like having one of those activated is kind of nice. It gives you a little more glow in here, uh, a little more light. Um, and so, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. There's more had night to be had. But so that's probably approaching 40 some percent. Yep, there we are. We're still, we're almost half full and we're, you know, we've been in here about, yeah, you know, about 20 minutes or so since we've got made it to the cave. Now that's, you know, that's relative to about what I would expect. Now this is interesting, isn't it? Is that a loot box? Oh, I wonder. It is a loot box. Hey, look at this. Oh, my stars, look at that. There's a cool, uh, one of the harvester mark uh, tools is in there. And look at, this is actually really good to know, you guys. This is, uh, some berries. Oh, their effects is toxic. That's crazy. But there's nutrition bars in here as well. And I, I don't have the, the room to take any of these. But look, at there's a Dolavine and there's a Hadonite as well. So we will take the Hadonite for sure. That's Dolavine times 10, by the way. So you might as well just grab it. That's free money. You know, I mean, that's, you know, why wouldn't you, why would you not grab that? So that's actually a really, really good thing to learn that there are these you know, I don't know how many of these are going to be in here. These loot, you know, but that's that's interesting that that had that loot box in here. And very, very good thing to know because that uh, that can change the game significantly. So it was shortly after this that the PTU did PTU things and I did 30K. But I did want to take a moment and just say, hey, thanks for watching. If you watched up to this point, uh, a couple of last things I will say is um, you know, the caves can be treacherous. Make sure when you do Spelunk, if you get to a spot where you have to either jump up or parkour uh, significantly across, uh, you know, um, chasms, or if you do get to a place where you have to crawl, that's when it gets really dangerous inside these caves. And so you're really, if you're just here to hand mine, my suggestion would be stick to kind of going down here. Crouching is okay. Uh, I have tended to find that when I have to do the, you know, if I have to lay down or if I have to jump, uh, you're really, you're probably not far from getting yourself either clipped out or stuck. So, you know, let, you want to be careful, right? You just want to kind of come through these caves and look for the hat of night uh, and don't over do it if you're specifically here just to make money. Uh, you know, locating the client is nice, but not at the cost of losing everything, and including your time. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it's been somewhat uh, uh, helpful for you here in uh, 3.18 uh, PTU. Uh, hopefully we're going to go to live soon. Have a lovely weekend, and I will see you all around the verse.